Mr. Prinsloo, what is the basic philosophy underlying apartheid as a way of life? We Europeans who have lived in this country for more than 300 years have come to a conclusion which is strange to some people in the Western world, namely that the peoples of Africa and so the Bantu people of South Africa have a beautiful civilization of their own which is worth preserving. There are many facets of this civilization, for instance, the social warmth of the Bantu peoples, which we Westerners can rightly envy them. Now, we also have a peculiar Western adaptation to Africa. Therefore, we can say that the Bantu peoples are a flower and the Western peoples are a flower, each with a beauty of its own. Mr. Prince Louis, you are no doubt aware, most criticism of apartheid outside the Union is based largely on moral grounds. For example, the morality of separate residential areas in the cities of the Union, pass laws, lack of voting rights, and so on. How would you reply to this? As far as residential areas are concerned, the practical situation is that until about 10 years ago, there were no residential areas for urban Bantu people. It is only in the last few years that such areas were set aside on a planned basis and developed at a terrific pace as you can see all around you. This housing scheme, which now houses more than 30,000 urban Bantu who work in Pretoria, was a bare plain a mere four years ago. I think that is a complete answer to the so-called immorality of separate residential areas. In the political field, we are creating an outlet in that we are proclaiming Bantu authorities in all the major Bantu areas of the Union. We have already brought into life more than 300 such authorities where Bantu who have the inclination, the training and the moral courage to start developing their own people can do so with all possible assistance from the government. Is the government convinced that the African wants and accepts apartheid as a development policy? For obvious reasons, many opponents of this policy tried to influence the Bantu people in the other direction. And like all new philosophies, like all new uh, uh, policies, we had to put our case to the Bantu people. And I can safely say today that the Bantu people are accepting the policy of self-development, which essentially is apart with apartheid essentially is in an ever-increasing tempo. I feel confident that the Bantu leadership of Africa, rural and urban, will, by the turn of next year, show in a most marked way that they are satisfied that this policy leads to their salvation.